Good evening. Pilos. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How do you feel today? How are you today? Are you okay? I am okay. Hello, good evening, Alfredo. Good evening. Good evening, Francisco. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Is it still raining? Is it raining in your... Where do you live? Yeah, it is raining. I don't know, but I feel like it is Friday. I think that it's Friday today, but today is Thursday. Ah, Jocelyn is here. Hello, Jocelyn. Good evening, good evening. Jocelyn and Michelle. Good evening, Michelle. Excuse me, what do you say? Feliz my friend. Ah, thank you. The teacher day. Teacher day. Ayer nos lo celebraron en la escuela. En la escuela es tradicional que lo celebran toda la semana. Lo celebran. Que no le van a dar puesto, teacher. ¿Cómo? Hagamos fiesta ahora. <ríe> eh, lo celebran los alumnos, lo celebran los cafetines, lo celebra el CDE, lo celebra la alcaldía. Total que es un mes de comer y comer y comer. Pero yo me he resistido este mes. <risa> he rechazado todo lo que me han dado. Es que estoy, estoy a dieta. Mala hora para la fecha. <risa> Porque sí. cuando fue febrero. Good evening. Febrero, que es mi cumpleaños, y además de eso, la fecha, la de amistad, que reuniones con los amigos, con la familia, etcétera, etcétera, de comer y comer. Engordé. Y ahí en mayo, otra vez, qué celebración aquí, qué celebración allá, Vol engordé más. Y no dije. Respectado ser dieta, ticha. <ríe> y no dije, no, ya en junio ya no, ya no puedo. Ni modo, voy a tener que. Así que todo lo que me, da, me han dado lo he regalado. Dice Francisco que la dieta no es de Dios. Dice. Cuando uno es malicioso, sí. Yo soy bien maliciosa. Me gusta lucir. Lástima que eso lo ve en mi cara, pero sí me gusta tener así figura. Voy al gimnasio, todos los días voy al gimnasio. Uh -huh. Ok, everybody, let's begin. Uh 
Solo vamos a tener de oyente a Jenny y a David, la primera hora. Ok, de allí creo que todos. Let's begin. Well, what is it? What is it? What is it? Okay, uh, the topic for today is how to use cool for polite and formal request. Well, the topic is how to use cool, but it includes how to use can. We are going to see what is that, okay? What is when you use cool and when you use can? And what is polite and formal request? Okay, the unit is in number four, tech support. We still are with tech support. And the objective is make cool for polite and formal request. So a request, uh, I told you yesterday that the request is solicitando, right? Solicitudes. When you, the, you make formal requests and polite informal request using could. Okay, what is, what is model auxiliary could and can request? Okay, they are a type of auxiliary verb. Okay, see, auxiliary verb. We use with other verbs to add more meaning to the verb. With modal verbs, we use the infinitive form. We say the infinity over the base form. Example, could you write the report, please? This is a question, right? You're asking, you're asking for something. What are you asking in this question? You are asking to write a report. Could you write a report, please? When you ask could, you add meaning to the verb. What is it, okay? What is it when you add meaning to the verb? Okay, if you say the verb bright, bright is escribir, right? But if you say, could you write? Then you are asking a favor. You are asking to do something. And then could is podría, right? Podría. So it's polite. Polite is amable. You say polite is amable. Here you have. Could you write the report, please? It's very polite. You go uh, to a store to buy something, you use could. Could you please uh, show me the the t-shirt and then could you is asking for requests but in a formal and polite form we use the models could and can for request but what is the difference when you use could and can okay can uh, i don't know if you know that can is when you have an ability, but in this context, no, right? And the topic for today is no for ability. For example, you use can when you say, I can play soccer, I can play. When you say can is you juego, right? But that is ability, ability, you can play soccer. But in this context, is no for ability, it's for request, asking for something. You are asking for somebody ask, uh, do an action. 
Okay. Cool is more polite and formal. Ken is less polite and informal. So, it, it depends on the people you are asking the favor. For example, if you ask the question to your sister, you have to use Ken because he's not polite. Is informal. You ask the question to the your boss. Okay, your boss or heifer, right? You 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 have to use cool. Or you go to a place to buy something, you use cool. You use cool anytime you're asking something for that is formal. Okay, so cool is formal. In can is informal, in few words. Okay, we also use models for asking for something, making a request. Can you do me a favor? More informal. Could you say thanks to your mom for me? More polite. I finished my homework, can I go now? More informal. Could I speak to Amy, please? More polite. More polite or more formal. You see, in the first one, you're asking for a favor, but you scan, so it's informal. In the second, you ask for somebody say things to the mom. It's a favor, right? But you use cool, so it's more formal and polite. And here you use can, asking if you can go or no. It's informal. And here you are asking the favor, speak to Amy. Can I speak to Amy? So speak is the favor, right? So if you see, the verb is in the infinitive form. Do, say, speak, go. The, here the subject is you. Okay, here the subject is you. Here the subject is I. Here the subject is I. But any subject, I, you, we, she, he, is the same. Okay. Remember in the present, in the simple present, you always use the, the verb difference. But when you use modal auxiliaries, you use the same, the same. Quiere decir lo mismo, right? Lo mismo, lo ocupa para todos, okay? If you say, I can, <clears throat> I can ask you a favor. Can she ask you a favor? Can they ask you a favor? Can he ask you a favor? It's the same. Okay, here you have the structure. Wait a minute, please. Hello guys. <ríe> He interrumpido la explicación para preguntarles algo, están escribiendo algo. No sé, tengo la duda, es que veo que todos están así echaditos como escribiendo algo. Yo sí, teacher, la estructura. <ríe> ah, pero eso, eso está en el está en el manual. Usted no imprimió su manual, Clara. Sí, sí lo imprimí. Ajá, porque esto está en el manual. Vea, ya va a ver. ¿En qué página? Como la 43, algo así. Mm. Vea. Esperen. La explicación anterior sí no, ¿verdad? Pero como ahí está en la presentación de PowerPoint, también la pueden ver. Pero este, esto sí está en el manual. No, pero no, no la tengo en la página 40 y 
No, es que está entre la... No, espérame, permítame. Es que como ahorita estoy compartiendo esto, no, no veo... Sí, en la 43 es, escucha. Ah, 43. pues sí. Ah, va. Sí, ahí está. Thank you. Ajá, porque yo siempre lo explico aparte, pero sí, ahí está siempre en el manual. Ok. Eh, continue. How to use... Cool for polite and formal requests. Okay, the structure. Cool plus subject plus verb base form plus complement plus I don't know what. <laughs> Maybe can be well the complement is the complement. No more than complement. Maybe another sentence can be alright. Uh, now you begin with cool. Continue with the subject, you. Continue with the verb, base form, right. And the complement, these reports, please. Okay, you always use the word please because it's a favor. You are asking for a favor. And then number two, you say, to is subject, you. Verb, the base form, deliver. Complement these letters today, please. It, this is the, the, what? This is the structure. <laughs> I forgot the word. This is the structure. But when you ask, because these are questions, these are questions, right? The structure has to be, it's not sentence, it's question. So, because you begin with cool is an auxiliary. So this is a yes, no question. Yes, no question. So look at the intonation. You say, could you write these reports, please? Could you deliver these letters today, please? Okay, you give emphasis to this word at the end. Could you write these reports, please? Could you deliver these letters today, please? Okay. So you raise the intonation in the last word. Okay, now this is the base form. This is the, the structure, but using can. Can is used to ask informal requests. Structure, can plus subject plus verb, base, form, and complement. You see, the structure is the same. The only difference is can and could, right? And the use, the purpose, because could is for formal and can is for informal situations. Examples. Can you write these reports, please? Can you help deliver these letters today, please? Okay, um, can you imagine, guys? Can you give me one example using cool? One request using cool? Rafael, sure. what do you say? Give me, give me one example using cool, asking for requests. Could you write this report, please? Repeat that same question. Uh, yes, but you, your own <laughs> example, Rafael. Okay. Could you go to the late play? Hey. <laughs> Okay, could you go to the lake? Okay, it's almost an invitation, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, if we, if, this is mostly like an invitation, not a favor, I guess. Bueno, si está tratando de conquistar a alguna chica y se le está haciendo la rogada, va ahí, tal vez. Porque él está, sería una petición, va. La, no tanto una invitación. Una petición. Sí. 
Eh, another es que voy, example, yes, Rafael. Voy, ah, es que como ahorita acabo de ingresar, teacher, tuve algunos problemas, entonces solo me estoy ingresando, o sea, tratando de entender el tema, ¿verdad? Ah, ok. Eh, había explicado que could es por haciendo una solicitud a alguien, pero una forma uh -huh. formal. Ajá, de... uh -huh. Sí. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey, Luz, give me an example. No, teacher. Think about the activity. No, Think about the activity in the company. And then... Convert that activity in a request using could. Okay, voy a ir a otro y luego regreso a usted, Luz. La voy a dejar pensando, okay? okay. Julia, give me an example using could. Ya se confunde. Yes. Pero puede ser este del, del manual o algo inventado. No, you, your own example. Mm. Recuérdense que todo esto que nosotros estamos estudiando todo va aplicado al trabajo. Entonces, sí, cuando ustedes me van a dar ejemplos, piensen en algo del trabajo. Ay, Una actividad, algo que sí, usted sí. quiere pedir en el trabajo. Ok, yes. Could, could, you, could you check email, please? Exactly. That's Good example. Teacher. Yes, Jaime. Uh, could you help me to print this page, please? Exactly. You see, you can do it. Another example. Lady. Could you give me your name, please? Uh -huh. Could you give me your name, please? Uh, Michelle. Um, es que yo había pensado de algo diferente. <risa> ok, another example, can be. Estoy pensando, espera, estoy pensando. Could you go to office manager, please? Yes, yes, yes. Ok, all the activities that you do. At your workplace is one example, okay? Remember the activities. We have studied many activities. Uh, fix the computer, check, the, check your emails, fix the machine, write a letter, any activity you can Convert in a request using could. Can you complete the exam, please? Could you? Uh -huh. Alfredo, Alfredo. Yes. Podría ser how you towards on the computer, please. Repeat, uh, repeat, Alfredo. Call you force on? Work That's on. Tour, tour. Ah, ta, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ajá. Uh -huh. Could you turn on sure. the computer? Yes. Good example in original, Alfredo. Very good. Another that is raising the hand. Mm, okay. Ah, uh -huh. I listened that you were saying something. Do you have an example, Sulma? Hmm. 
Mm. I call you use your machine. Mm. Okay, remember that this you have to begin with cool. And then the subject, okay. Cool. Uh -huh. cool. cool, cool. No L. Cool. Uh -huh. No pronunciamos la L. Okay. Cool. Uh -huh. You say cool. Pero si la cool. Yes. Cool. Uh -huh. Could you? I could use your machine. Uh -huh. But this could you? Could you? Or could I? Maybe. But maybe you don't say could I because. Eh, you are not asking the request for yourself. O sea, si usted pide un favor, este, casi siempre se lo pide a alguien directamente, entonces casi siempre va a ser con you, ¿verdad? Porque es a ti. Sí. Uh -huh. Entonces, de could you. Entonces, I call you machine, please. Mm -hmm. Sí, pero quítale el I antes. Solo diga could you. Y que se siempre ah, dice I you? antes. Mm -hmm. Could you. Could you. Y de allí diga el verbo. De allí diga el verbo. Could you diga el verbo de la acción que usted quiere que haga la persona. ¿Quiere que escriba? Tiene que decir write. ¿Quiere que lleve? Deliver. ¿Quiere que chequee? Check. ¿Quiere que haga? Do. O oh, make. Ah. ¿Quiere que cosa? Su. ¿Quiere que lo repare? Repair. Or fix. Ah, okay. ¿Quiere que baile? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Could you, could you yeah. ask where the phone, please? Very good. You are you are thinking like a boss. <laughs> <laughs> you are asking the favor to your secretary. Uh, Luz, do you have your example now? Yes, teacher. Um, how did you have? Could you help with my computer? Very good. Could you help me with the computer? It's a good example too. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's go with Ken. Ken is the same, but remember that the only difference is uh, the way, because could you ask this to your boss in an office, but Ken, mostly you ask to your friends or your family. Si, sí, por ejemplo, ¿quién es su amigo en la empresa? ¿Quién es su chero así que tienen gran confianza y se tratan así de tú a tú? Ah, pues a ese le va a preguntar con quién. Pero si su jefe ahí es bien enojado, bien serio, ¿verdad? A ese le va a preguntar con Cud. Esa es la única. Las mismas preguntas que me hicieron usando Cud, esas mismas me pueden decir usando Ken. Porque es lo mismo, pero el, eh, una se las va a decir a una persona en forma formal y a otra se las va a decir a otra en forma formal. Okay. Va, entonces, vuélveme a decir las mismas que me dijeron, pero ahora usando qué. Ajá, Rafael. Can you answer the phone, please? Uh -huh. Can you, can you yes. repair my computer, please? Good. Clara? Can you shed garment, please? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, Alfredo? Can you turn on the computer, please? Very good. Somebody else? Jimmy? Michelle? The microphone, Michelle. Sorry, teacher. Can you turn on the microphone, Michelle? <laughs> Can you call me in the night, please? 
Oh, cool. Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> I am kidding. Uy, no. A ver si Francisco se va a enojar. <laughs> no, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Another example. Um, can you pass me the coffee, please? Ajá, ajá, yo creí que me iba a decir, can you pass me the course? <risa> <risa> no, le dije, usted solito se lo pasa. Ya se fijaron que estos cursos ustedes solitos los pasan, va. Ya se fijaron. Si asisten, si hacen la plataforma, ustedes solitos. Ok. Eh, continue with an exercise, guys. Here you... Okay, what do you do? This is very easy. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Change the sentences so that they include can or could. How you are going to know if you use, uh, you use can or could? Yeah. Read here, polite request. What do you think you are going to use in the number one? In the number one, what you are going to use? Can or could? Could. Why could? Yes, exactly, exactly. Okay, do it, guys. Uh, do it alone. ¿Por qué utilizo could? Because it says polite request. Polite request. Mm -hmm. okay. Polite is amable. O sea, okay. es formal. Okay. Cuando es polite and formal, it's could. And when it's informal, it's can. Okay. Ooh, one can. Uh huh. Ask the questions. Vaya, eh, vayan respondiéndolo. Como, yes, 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 Francisco. Eh, el can se usa, digamos, para la forma formal, ¿verdad? Informal. No, informal. Can, ah, informal. Can. Ah, viceversa. Cool. Cool es formal. Ah, cool es formal. Y can es formal. Es informal. Ah, ok. Vaya, ahora... Fíjense que no lo voy a llevar al break house para esto, pero voy a explicar. Respóndanlo y practíquenlo, porque me, lo voy a poner que me lo lean todos. Me van a decir las preguntas todos. Son de esa slide on five. And the next slide is four. Hay una que no está, ¿verdad? La six. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Que no sé yo si la estoy tapando con algo o de veras no está. Yo creo que no está. Ok, solo son nueve entonces. Ok. Complétenla y practíquenlas porque todos me las van a leer, pero necesito que cuando me la diga, lo digan lo más rápido que puedan. Ok, así que practiquen bastante.
recuerden de que tienen que seguir la estructura de, y el ejemplo, ¿verdad? Todos tienen que com comenzar con could you.
Hello guys, where, where are you? Michelle, do you wanna send, tell me something? Bye, bye. bye. No, no sé si quedó levantada la mano o, o me quería preguntar algo. Ah, sí, sí quedó, no sé cómo va. Ah, ah okay. no, así. <risa> ok. Estaba solo. ¿Por cuál va, Michelle? Yo digo que ya terminé, pero no sé si está bien. Ah, ok. Eh, Julia. Teacher, solo era este, formular la, la, la pregunta con lo que usted nos dio. ¿Teníamos que responder o hacer algo? Fíjese de que, cambiar? la verdad es que bien, si, eh, cada pregunta es diferente, la verdad. Porque algunas cosas que eh, requieren de que, que usted haga, que pide permiso que usted pueda hacer. Y otras quieren que usted haga. Ay, Pero son las preguntas. Una hay unas que dice que hay, unas que dice. O, o todas no. es que todas no, son sí. preguntas pidiendo un favor pidiendo solicitando algo verdad sí pero tiene que seguir la estructura eh, la verdad es que no necesariamente tiene ella que hacer con you pero sí tiene que seguir la estructura es que todas las hice el con el sí. en verdad según la situación después el sujeto después el verbo y lo que se pide que lo que se sugiere que haga por ejemplo, en la número uno, lo que quieren que haga es que, que quiere un café, ¿verdad? Sí. Lo que, que quizá sí, le den un café. Sí. La segunda es de que se quiere sentar ahí. Y así. O cualquier café, Patricia. Ajá, finish, Julia. <coughs> Yo todas las hice con yo, teacher. Mire, eh, vamos a ver cómo, cómo le quedaron. Okay. Bueno. No, no era una pregunta tan fija, que la cosa es de que tenga el contexto. Ya, yes, teacher. Jocelyn, por fin la veo. <ríe> Ay, sí. Y ya terminó las preguntas, Jocelyn. Sí, ya. Ok. Voy a comenzar entonces, aquí le voy a poner un chequecito que me la van diciendo, con los que ya terminaron para ir avanzando. Ok, Jocelyn, you. Could I have some coffee, please? Uh, could I sit here, please? Could I uh, stay with you, please? Can you pick up the children? children? Could you pick up the children, please? Can you give me a hand? Can you pass me the salt? Can you come over later? Can I use your pen? Thank you, Jocelyn. Who else finished? I finished. Uh -huh. Go ahead, Jaime. Could you give me a coffee, please? Could you sit here, please? Could you stay with me, please? Can you pick up the children? Could you want to pick up the children, please? Um, can you give me a, a heart? Can you pass me the salt? Can you come over late? Can you use... 
Very good, Jaime. Thank you, teacher. Who else? Uh -huh, Michelle, do it. Okay. Hold your shoulders a coffee, please. Hold your seat here, please. Hold your stay, give me, please. Can you pick up of the children, please? Hold you pick up in the children, please. Can you give me a, a hand, please? Can you pass the child, please? Can you come over later? Please, can you can I use the pen, please? Your pen, your pen. Your pen, please. Yes. Uh, they are okay. They are okay, uh, Michelle. You. Have your check. Somebody else. <clears throat> Yo, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Suma. I am lady. Oh. A lady, sorry. But could you give me some coffee, please? And I can say, could you, could I have some coffee, please? And could I sit here? Could I stay with you? Can you pick up the children? Could you pick up the children? Can you give me a hand? Can you pass me the salt? Can you come over later? Can I use your pen? Exactly. All of them were good. You did it right. Lady. Somebody else, Alfredo? Ahora yo teacher. Sería number one. Uh, call you. Could you bring me a coffee, please? And two, could you could you sit here, please? Three, could you stay with me, please? Uh, four, could you pick up the children, please? Ah, no, perdón. Uh, uh, can you pick up the children, please? Uh, la five, uh, call you pick up the children, please? Um, six, Seria. can you give me a hand, a hand please? Uh, seven, can you pass me the salt, please? Uh, la... Nine. Nine. Can you call me over letter, please? E ten seria. Can you use the pen, please? Uh -huh. Thank you, Alfredo. And then Suma. <laughs> Call, call you have some coffee, please? Call you sit here, please? Call you say what do, please? Can you pick up the children? Call you pick up the children, please? Can you have me a uh, hand? Can you pass me the salt? Can you come over later? Can you use your thing? Okay. They were good. Okay, Suma. No mistakes. Wow, I don't listen to any mistake. Okay, who else? Who else? Clara. Daniel. Hola, teacher. Se la digo. Yes, yes. <coughs> eh, pero póngame la, en la pantalla la primera, por favor. Call, call, you have some 
coffee, please. Could you, could you sit here, please? Uh, or stay with you, please? Uh, can you pick up the children? Uh, or to call, pick up the children, please. Ahora la siete, teacher. Okay. Eh, eh, Clara. Okay, Hola. you say, could you, could you, can, can you, okay, can, can you. you, could you, could you, could you, can you, y could you. Yes, could you, could, could you. you, could you. Okay. Next, sí. Eh, can you hide me a hand? <laughs> no lo puedo decir. Give me, eh, give me, hit me, give me a hand, hit me a hand. Eh, can, can you paste me the salt? Eh, can, can you come over later? Eh, can use your pen? Can you, <laughs> can you use my pen or can I? In this case, maybe, maybe can I? I guess if you are going to use the exact words. Ok, si sí, va a usar las palabras exactas, porque hay uno, le cambiaron un poquito para darle el contexto. Pero si va a usar las palabras exactas aquí, creo que queda mejor con I. Can I use your pen, please? Uh -huh. Can I? Ah. Uh -huh. Y se le quita el you. Your pen. Uh -huh. No, porque va a usar uh -huh. las palabras exactas. O sea, ah. no, le, no le va a quitar nada. Can I? Can I use your pen, please? Thank you. Uh -huh, I'm missing Julia. Julia, Julia. With the sentences? The, no, the question. Could you give me a cup of tea? I think I did Yes, yes. Could you sit you here, please? Could you stay me? Would you please? Can you pick up the children? In the number three, sorry. In the number three, if you say could you, you say with me, right? Could you stay with me? Please? Let me change me here in the uh -huh. number four. Can you pick up the children? Will you pick up the children, please? Can you I give me a hand? Can you I to pass with the salt? Can you I come over later? Can you to use my pen. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you, Julia. It's missing losing. Rafael. Rafael, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, go ahead. Here. Could you have some coffee? Could you want to sit here? Could you stay with me? Can you pick up the children? Could you two pick up the children? Um, seven, can you heal me hand? Can you pass me the salt? Can you come over later? Can I use your pen? Finish teacher. Very good, Rafael. 
Thank you, teacher. Luz? Yes. You tell Thank me you. the questions. Could you have some cold coffee? Could you prepare? Could you stay with me? Uh, sorry, sorry, Luz. I don't know if it is me, but I don't listen very, very well. I don't know if it is your audio. Can you speak louder? Can you speak up, please? Can you speak up? Um, can you speak up the kiddo? How do you speak up the speaker? Can you feel the hand? Can you say the picture, please? Can you come up, please? Can I use your pen? Okay, I hardly, I hardly listen, but I listen that you did it well. Uh, okay, only is missing Daniel. I don't know if Daniel is going to participate. I haven't listened, Daniel. Hello, Francisco. Hello, Francisco. Hello, Francisco. Hello, Francisco. Hello, Francisco. Uh, uh, call you have some coffee. Uh, call you sit here. Uh, call you stay with me. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Francisco. Wait a minute. Okay. Um, cuando usted dice Q, no pronuncia la L. Ajá. Tiene que decir Q, Q. Y trate de hacerlo más rápido. Okay. Cuando dice Q, you... Como que unía la D con la U, could you. Como okay. que fuera una sola palabra. Como la palabra okay. termina con una D y la siguiente U, ¿verdad? Entonces, hágala como que fuera could you, could, could you. you. Could you. Ajá, could you. Uh -huh. Porque la U, cuando dice usted U, es como que fuera una I y una U, U. Entonces, como el sonido de vocal se une a la D, entonces usted dice could you, could you. Could you. Uh -huh. Could, could you. Ok, ¿comienzo de nuevo? Yes, yeah, yes. Okay. Eh, could you have some coffee? Eh, could you sit here? Eh, could you stay with me? Eh, can you pick up the children? Could you pick up the children? Can you give, give me a hand? Can you pass, pass me the salt? Can you come over later? Uh, can I use your pen? Very good. Okay. Come over later. Very good. Um, now only is missing Daniel. Yeah. Hello, teacher. Uh, Daniel, do you, do you have your questions? Yes. Uh, number one, call you have some uh, coffee, please. Uh, call you to say, say it her, please. Daniel, you... Daniel, yeah. Daniel, sorry. Eh, lo mismo que le dije a Francisco, no pronuncia la L. Y solo tiene este cool, cool, como cool. si fuera una C, una U, pero una U bien así va, U, y una D, es cool, 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 cool you, cool you, cool you, cool you, no, cool you, cool you, cool no, no, no diga la L, no diga la L, Could you, could you, could you. Ajá, ahí la última, ¿ok? Va, comencemos de nuevo. Could you have some, uh, some uh, coffee, please? Could you to side her, please? Could you stay with me, please? Can you pick, pick up the children, please? Could you... Speak up uh, the cheater, please. 
can you give me um, a hand, please? Can you pass me the salt, please? Can you come over later, please? Uh, can you use your pen, please? For the last one, you can say, could I? Could I use your pen or could you use my pen? Que algunos así lo dijeron, my pen, pero es un poquito lógica, pero cumple la gramática, así que estaba bien. Ok, that's good. Lo hizo bastante bien, Dani, al final lo, lo dijo bastante bien. Ok, continue with the next part, guys. Ok, eso es lo que vimos ayer y antier, ¿verdad? Pero solo le agregué unas cuantas para tal vez a ustedes les sirve para la práctica de hoy, ¿ok? Uh, blank white paper out, come out, and poor print quality, nothing is printing. Ok, eh, prácticamente la número, esta blank white paper come out casi es lo mismo que la última, nothing is printing. Bueno, ahí vean ustedes cuál usan. Porque que el papel está saliendo en blanco y que nada está siendo impreso es lo mismo. ¿verdad? Bueno, poor print quality es así, ¿verdad? Porque está imprimiendo, pero es bien mala. La impresión es de mala calidad. Ok, solo esa les agregué y las pueden usar cuando estén trabajando en, el, en lo que vamos a hacer luego. Ok. Now let's go to the manual. Okay, entonces. Um, uh, I'm going to read the conversation and then you complete the exercise three. What you are going to do is complete the question using could you or, or could, could you or can you according to the context. Listen. Hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for Pips. Come. Mm. Ok, here is, creo que es un error, es el signo de interrogación porque no es una pregunta. Ok, eh, I work for pips.com. Ok, I work for pips.com. El puntito se lee como that, 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 D -O -T, that. I work for pips.com. We received the new printer and I need help setting it up. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Uh, it's an Altipage MX30. <coughs> okay, first. Make sure that the power cord is plugged in. All right, it is. Will you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, check the installation CD is in the tray. And third, when the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. Okay, according to the conversation, what is in the number one? And you say, you tell me what the model is. Can you or can or could? According to the conversation, what is the answer? In the number two, you describe the problem, please. According to the conversation. Four. Oh, not cool. So you say cool and cool. 
could you tell me what model is? Could. Could. Uh -huh. could. could you tell me? Could you tell me what the model is in the second one? Is in the conversation the second one? Or is implied? The page. Ah, the page is the 47. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Dice que la segunda no está en la conversación, pero está implícita. Así que, ¿cuáles creen ustedes que podría haber sido? Okay, I want to write could. Could. What is the problem here? Podría ir can también, teacher. Yes, can be. Yes, I want to write can. Can you describe the problem, please? Could you describe the problem, please? The two are correct. But in the number one, in the number one, porque ya estaba, ¿ves? Así está. Entonces ya estaba, hay que poner la que está ahí. Pero en la número dos podemos poner ambas. Okay, and, and that's it. Vaya, le voy a explicar porque esta va a ser la, la, la actividad fuerte de este día. Esto es la explicación que ya le di, ¿verdad? Estos dos cuadritos que tenemos en la página 48. Y solo es de escribir oración, eh, preguntas. Pero la actividad fuerte que tenemos es esta. La conversación. Vaya, se la voy a explicar antes de que la practiquemos. En la conversación está alguien solicitando que ayuda, ¿va? Y la ayuda es sobre una impresora. Entonces le está pidiendo que le ayude. Entonces el técnico, el tech support, le está dando guías de cómo la persona misma. No sé si ustedes algunas veces han llamado a Tigo o a Claro. Bueno, yo Tigo, pero me identifico porque ellos son los... Y ellos más o menos le dicen, haga esto, haga lo siguiente. Porque usted mismo puede hacer ciertas cositas, no necesariamente es necesario que llegue el técnico. Usted puede sí, chequear claro. si cositas están trabajando bien para ver si no es un problema menor. Entonces le va indicando qué es lo que usted va haciendo para chequear y tal vez esa, eso sea. ¿va? Entonces ustedes van a hacer una conversación igual a esta, pero usando otro dispositivo, no un printer, cámbienlo, no sé por cuál a la que a ustedes mejor les guste. Pero al momento de que van a estar dando la ayuda, tienen que darles tres pasos, ¿verdad? Sí. Miren el ejemplo, aquí dice first, dice first, ahí está el primero, ¿verdad? Second, ahí está el segundo. And third, ahí está el tercero. ¿Ok? ¿Está comprendida cómo van a hacer la conversación? Yes, yes, or no. Repeat. Repeat. Bye. Van a hacer una conversación igual a esta, pero no van a, el, la conversación está, de ejemplo, usando un printer. Ustedes lo van a cambiar por otro dispositivo, por otro eh, equipo, ¿ok? De su elección y predilección. Y cuando ya estén dando las instrucciones de cómo arreglar la situación, van a dar los tres pasos de que la ustedes van a guiar al, a la otra persona que haga esos tres pasos para ver si ese es el problema. ¿Ok? Entonces, aquí, por ejemplo, donde dice first, le dice la primera cosa que tiene que hacer para chequear si eso es. ¿va? De ahí second, la segunda, ¿va? que tiene que hacer para, para ayudarlo a que lo, se le arregle. Third es la última. 
sea, piensen en alguna falla y den tres indicaciones para que la persona ella misma lo haga. No necesariamente usted tenga que llegar al lugar. Okay. Imagina que usted es el técnico y el otro es la persona con el problema. Yes. The old workplace or other? Um, no, o sea, uno está en el, porque acuérdese que son por llamada. Entonces, alguien está en el trabajo y el otro y llama al tech support. Y el te de tech support le da las indicaciones. Yes. Yes or yes. no? Okay. <laughs> Okay, everybody, please repeat. Hello. 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 This, is, this is Max from Tech Support. This is Max, this is Max from, from Tech Support. How can I help you? How can I help you? Hi, Max. Hi, Max. Hi, Max. Hi, Max. My name is Joe. My name, My name is Joe. Is Joe. I work for pips.com. I work for pips.com. We receive the new printer. We receive the new printer. And I need help setting it up. And I need help setting it up. Could you help me, please? Could you oh, help me, please? No problem, Joe. No problem, Joe. No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Could you tell me the model? Model. Model. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Cuando hacen esta pregunta, can you hold on a second? Es una pregunta típica de una llamada. Y como le dicen, permítame un momentito. Ajá. Can you hold on a second, please? Can you hold on a second, please? Ah. Uh, 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 is, <laughs> is an alti page mx esto no es tan relevante que lo aprendan a pronunciar ¿va? porque ustedes le van a cambiar la marca <laughs> ok ok first ok, okay. first first, first. first. Make yeah. sure that the power cord is plugged in. <laughs> Make sure that the power cord is plugged in. All right, it is. All right, it is. All right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second. 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 Check that. Check that the installation CD is in the tray. Tray es el, el, es el espacio donde va el, el, el CD, disco. ¿verdad? Es el disco, el espacito donde va el, el tray. Ok, enter. Enter. Once the menu appears on the screen, once the menu, when the menu the appears, appears on, the on the screen, click on, click on, complete install. install. Complete install. Okay, that's it, guys. Okay, uh, you do it. Vamos a ver. A mí a veces es bien difícil esto de asignar parejas porque veo que no sé si quién se salió. Ok. Um, vamos a ver. Um, seven. Mm 
Hello, hello, David. Está usted ya participando? Yes, yes, yes. Ah, es que Jenny solo está de oyente, pues me lo voy a llevar. Okay. okay. Hola, Tiche. Torita, acabo de llegar, Tiche. Hello, eh, va a participar en una conversación que están haciendo. Ah, vaya, Tiche, está bueno. Eh, vaya, voy a ver con quién lo pongo, Pallita. Ahí, para que le dé empuje. Vamos <risa> a ver. Eh, acabo de llegar, Tiche. Sí. Torita, acabo de entrar. Es un ratito. Um... Bueno, la primera. Hoy me han quedado bonitas las parejas, así que está difícil decidir a dónde, pero bueno, lo voy a mandar aquí. Number two.
qué si, qué si pudimos hablar de una, de una computadora? Dice, porque en el ejemplo es una fotocopiadora, una impresora. Teacher. Yes, yes. Ah, que solo lo del aparato le íbamos a cambiar o las instrucciones también. Y como no, si cambian el aparato, iban a cambiar las, las instrucciones. Ah, ok. Ajá, porque como en el supuesto que son diferentes. Sí, yeah. okay. Casi que igual que lo que hicimos anoche. Sí, lo único que hoy agregan, pa, lo, lo importante de esa es que van a usar las preguntas usando quién o el put y sí. los tres pasos para averiguar cómo solucionar el problema. Eso no lo hicimos ayer. No, eso no. Uh -huh. Ok, go ahead. Michelle, Michelle es la que está co compartiendo. Sí, correcto. Ajá. Pedro Maní, Francisco, Work, HB. ¿Podrías ayudarme a cambiar la Hello, hello, guys. Hello, teacher. Creo que tú sigues de acuerdo en algo. Sí, ahorita estamos en eso. Okay. See you. Teacher, so... Yes, yes. It's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. You say it's Connor. Connor, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And yes. the name Canon AP 900. Uh -huh. IP. IP. Yes. Mm -hmm. Y ahí las mismas van a usar todo esto, lo mismo. Pues se aplica lo que es una instalación o un, de un escáner y se aplica todo. Ahora lo habíamos dejado aquí. Uh -huh. Ok, va, entonces practícala. Practice, sí, practice. Sí. ¿Cómo puede poner? Permítame. Dice. ¿Qué es una? Este, y hay que cambiarle bastante, ¿va? Y bueno, hay unos que le han cambiado bastante y hay unos que casi nada. <risa> Depende de ustedes. Sí, porque si... Sí, porque si nosotros vamos a hablar del teléfono, tenemos que hablar, o sea, tenemos que cambiarle varias cositas. Por lo menos la marca, ah, donde del CD, sí, sí. la instalación del CD. Ajá. Tal vez no, sí. no hablar de una instalación del CD, sino que de bajar un app, ¿verdad? Bajar un app. Ajá. A veces a mí me gusta que sean originales, que le cambien un poquito más de lo... 
para, para que, no sé, yo siento más, más interesante así. Ah, interesante. <risa> que solo el, hagan la pura conversación. Ok. Mm. Ah, entonces ahí la dejo. Gracias. Entonces, ¿me trabaja para? Así va. ¿Me podría ayudar? No tengo. Eh, bueno, yo creo que no lleva ahí.
Alfredo, la cosa es Alfredo, dos puntos. Eh, y pones Ha, yeah. Hi, David. My name is Alfredo. Ajá. Ay, David. Alfredo. I press the emergency button. El botón de emergencia. No. Es, 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 es rojo. Esa para encenderla. Sí. La pilla interrumpiré un momentito solo para darle un aviso a Dania. Dania, usted eh, le hace falta un poquitito de porcentaje para tener el porcentaje de aprobación, oiga. Así que Vaya. que se conecte en las dos clases que hacen falta. Vaya, Ticho. Ahí le diría yo este segundo. Este, instala, instala la app y, y abre la Hello, hello. Después de eh, la... Excuse me, eh, voy a hablarle a Carlos a ver si me escucha. Carlos, me, está, me escucha. Um, ah, pues no, te le voy a mandar un mensaje. Ok, that's it, guys. Thank you. You're welcome.
Okay, ready or no? Ready or no, you have to do it, okay? The number one is Alfredo, Clara, and David. Number two, eh, Michelle, Francisco, and Marco. Number no. two, Dania and Lady. Number four, Jaime and Jocelyn. Number five, Julia and Zulma. Number is six. Number six is, aha, uh -huh, Luis and Rafael. Okay, begin. Number one. Ay, Dios, teacher, ni terminamos. A media quedamos, teacher. Why? Los últimos serán los primeros, teacher. Empieza por el seis. <laughs> Okay, uh, number six, Luis and Rafael. Okay. Hello, this is Rafael from Take Support. How can I help you? Me. We received the new computer and I need to turn it on. Could you help me, please? No problem, Luz. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Uh, it and HP. Okay, first make sure the power core flow in. All right, it is called you. Tell me what. I need to do next, please. Second, check the keyboard monitor and mouse are connect until press the power button and the monitor and CPU. Excellent, Rafael. It will now. Thank you. Finish, teacher. Okay. Uh, we are talking with the expert. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, teacher. You give the solution for everything. Okay, thank you. Now the number two. Borrate la el pantalla, Marcos. Ah, no. La estaba terminando, así que tal vez pueden pasar los otros, teacher, porque nosotros a media casi estamos terminando. Okay, number three. Hi. Ajá, uh -huh, Lady and Dania. Uh -huh. Hi, this is Lady Peace Support. How can I help you? Hi, Lady. My name is Dania. I work for El Salvador. So, could you help me with the logo machine because it it doesn't on? Oh. Sure, no problem. Can you tell me which bottle you press? Let me check. Uh, can you hold on a second, please? Press the red button. Okay, you need the you need to press the button green. Oh yes, now the machine turns on. Thank you, lady. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, thank you. All of you have come. A repair computers person. And now let's go to the number four, Jaime and Jocelyn. Hello, this is Jocelyn from the tech support. How can I help you? Hi, Jocelyn. My name is Jaime. I work at Corpets. Come, we receive the new scanner. I need a help setting up. Call and help you. Help me, please. No problem, Jaime. Will you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on the second, please? Oh, it's Canon AP 
No es hunter. Okay. First, make sure that the power cord is flowing. All right. It is. Could you tell me one? I need to the next, please. Second, check that the installation CD is in the tray. And there, once the menu appears on the screen, click on the complete install. Okay, that is the menu, okay, menu, the menu, click on, click on. Okay, thank you, thank uh, you. Kim, uh, Jaime and Jocelyn. Now number four, Julia and Sulma. Hello, this is Julia from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Julie. My name is Sulma. I work at 10 times. We received the new curriculum. I am and I need help sharing. Pardon. And I need help to download in it. No problem, Sulma. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Ah, it's a Samsung A series. Okay, please go to the Play Store. Oh, all right. It is for you to tell me what I need to do next, please. Second, install the application. My PDF viewer. viewer. And open it, then enter the document that is that has been sent to you. Finish it. Okay, thank you guys, Julia and Suma. Good job. Good job. Uh, I don't know if we, the group of Michelle, Francisco, and Marco, are you ready? No, but it's now or never because the, we finished the class. Ah, sí. Yo digo que sí, teacher. Okay, go. Do it. Espérame. Deme un segundito, un segundito, un segundito. Tarita, tarita, tarita. Me que me puse nervioso, Tich. Ok, eh, Michelle, remember that you stay today. Mmm. <laughs> In Alfredo, Clara, and David? Okay, nothing. Okay. Eh, una parte nada más, teacher. Es que a media la dejamos, teacher. Si quiere lo presentamos así. Well, do it. Yes, do it, do it, do it. Okay, espérame. Mm-hmm. 
Lo grabé. Ahorita no puedo ni hablar. Ya lo puedo como grabar. Sí. Muy pequeño, se mira. ¿eh? Ahí está bien. Ahí está bien. Sí. Hello, this Va. is David from Facebook. How can I do? How can I help you? Hi, David. My name is Alfredo. I received a new router and I need help setting it up. Can you help me, please? No problem, Alfredo. Can you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold in a second, please? Put it and TP link Archer 100. Okay, first make sure that the power cord in the plugin. All right, it is. Can you tell me what I need to to do next, please? So, I'm going to switch to the right. Really, teacher, so you can. Hasta ahí la dejamos, teacher. Okay, thank you. Stop sharing. And I don't know if he, Marcus, you ready? La pongo. Yeah, do it. No sé si me quiere ayudar Michelle o Francisco. Démosle, démosle. Dale, Francisco. Ah, pues, no sé cómo lo vas a decir porque Michelle dice que arriba. Hi. Solo que hay que empezar desde Max, ¿te acordás? ¿Empiezo yo? Dale, dale. Ok. Hello. This is Mark from the Tech Super. How can I help you? Aquí. Dale, ahí tenés que seguir. Dale. No se le escuchaba, Tiche. Okay. Eh, hi, Marco. My name is Francisco. I work for HBI. Eh, we receive the new computer. And I need help sharing. Uh, eh, ahí no se ve muy muy bien Marco después de U setting it up uh, it... You help me please no problem Francisco could you tell me the, the model uh, let me check can you help Can you can you hold on a second, please? It's a HP D80. Okay. First, make sure that the power core is fluid. All right. It is cold. You tell me what I need to the next, please. Second, please. check the Check that the installation is, is how do you say that, Installation. Installation of window. Click on complete to start. To install. Thank you. Stop sharing, Marco and Francisco.
Okay, Marco, what happened today? You were very nervous. Okay, so uh, we finished the class today, guys. And I hope that you assist, uh, attend the class tomorrow. I already take, uh, took the, the attendance. I'm going to read the names and tell me if it's correct or no. Okay, Alfredo, Carlos, Clara, Daniel, Dania, sorry. Dania, David, Michelle, Francisco, Jaime, Jenny, Jocelyn, Julia, Lady, Luz. Manuel, that was a few minutes, but he was. Marco, Rafael, and Sul. Okay. So, see you tomorrow. Have a nice night. And stay, Michelle. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Happy day, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Yo creo que sí se volvió a estar. Se volvió a Good night, teacher. Good night. Se volvió a salir la, la luna. Bueno.